Okay, folks, so I set up rosters for all of you. So if you want to look at your uh, individual scores, I'm going to walk you through a couple of ways that you can look at your student scores from CASP. Okay, so first of all, obviously, you're going to go on to CASP.org. And then after you log in or after you go on to that, go on to this one, Online Reporting System. Okay, and then you're going to go into Score Reports. And then here you can see this is mine. Obviously, I have access to everybody's, but it says third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. You guys are going to see grade three if you're a third grade teacher, or whatever, and it'll probably say just however many kiddos are on your roster, okay? For sake of argument, I'm just going to pretend this is grade three. For Morris, it says 29, let's just say, okay? So I'm going to pull this up. It's going to say loading data. You can see I have everybody's here, but you would click your name again if you see it again and here's the different reports that'll come up okay roster means you're getting like an overall score a class view okay so if you look at roster and subject and view this is what you'll see okay it'll see here this this dark blue is standards not met this light blue is standards nearly met and then here this um dark green is the standard met. Standard exceeded is this one up here, the, the brighter green, okay? This just means plus or minus 10 points. That's what that means, okay? So that's one score. Now, if you look, if I were to go again here, you click on your name, okay? So let's say I click back on, Morris, I hope you don't mind me using you. And now I'm gonna go into student, okay? Or let's go back into roster. Let me show you that one first. Okay, roster, whole group. Now I want to see claims. This is this will be for your classroom, okay? You're going to hit view, and this will tell you, you're going to look at your class. Again, I have everything. You guys won't have all of this. But you're going to see um, below standard, near standard, or above standard, okay? That's what the colors over here mean. So you're going to see ELA literacy for reading, how many, what percentage was below, what percentage was percentage was near, and what percentage was above. So you could see here, you might want to work on writing a little bit. That's kind of what this report tells you. Okay. The other one, when you click on your roster, and this is something you might want to do. I'll show you one more thing. Okay. Backtracking. Then you've got this roster target view. Okay. Now this Basically, again, this is your key, okay? The minus just says worse than performance on the test as a whole. You could have done in the 40% everywhere, but if you get this, this means this one was below 40%, okay? So this tells you something to work on. Insufficient doesn't mean there weren't enough kids tested. It might mean there's just not enough data for them to make a, a verifiable or valid conclusion, okay? So you're basically looking for overall central ideas is something you might wanna work on there, okay? Now, and you're not going to break it down further than that. It's not going to give us standards. Now, might you, what you might want to pull up for your kiddos is when you pull on up here, go on to student, okay? And then here, pick, let's say, claims view, okay? This is, if you print this, okay, you can go up here and print, you can export it, but just print it. It's a PDF, okay? So if you print this, you can call kiddos up and have conversations, okay? And reading achievement, eh, not so good, right? Writing categories, okay. So the, Miguel needs to work on reading and research and inquiry. So you could, this tells you a little bit more specifically. If you pick on a kid from that point on, view, okay? That's gonna pull up their kind of the report that they would see from their parents for their parents. And here you could see the cut points, okay? So between 2367 to get to met, this kiddo's in nearly met, but to get to met, they need to go up from 2367 to 2481 or 2381 to 2432. So that's how many points they missed going to the next band. So I hope that helped give you some information um, so that you can get going. Again, I like to refresh. So I'm going from the top, CASP, online reporting, score reports. And again, you've all got rosters in there, so you should be fine. This is math. 
So pick on your grade level here or pick on your name. Okay, then pick on, let's say your name again. And if you want that last report, it's gonna be student. Okay, and let's do claims. And that's how that report happens. Okay, and then again, if you wanna see the individual kiddo, to pull them up and have a conversation or print it, whatever, this. But please do not print them. Wait till they come from the state because the, all of the scores are not finalized. Don't print them. Don't send them home to parents. This is just mostly for your reference, okay? And have a good time with that data. Peace.